Welcome back to Cruising America, everyone. Today we're visiting Canyonlands National Park in southeastern Utah. We're Steve and Kathleen. We're Cruising America in our 35-foot fifth-wheel RV, chasing 70-degree weather year-round. If you'd like to watch our previous videos, please click the Cruising America playlist link in the description below this video. Otherwise, enjoy our current episode starting now. Canyonlands is near the town of Moab and invites you to explore a wilderness of countless canyons and fantastically formed buttes carved by the Colorado River and its tributaries. If you come to Moab, you have to visit both the Island in the Sky and the Needles Districts of Canyonlands, as well as Dead Horse Point State Park, to fully appreciate the geology of the area. Some of the views are similar, but some are drastically different, making travel to all three areas worth the trips. And for comparison, while the Grand Canyon has more depth, the Rim and River are more than 4,000 feet apart. Canyonlands is broader and more diverse geologically and much easier to access. The Green and Colorado Rivers divide Utah's largest national park into four districts of staggering diversity, Island in the Sky, the Needles, the Maze, and the rivers themselves. Island in the Sky is the most accessible district, offering expansive views from many overlooks along the paved scenic drive, including several hikes of varying length and a moderate four-wheel drive route called the White Rim Road. View from 1,500 feet above the Red Rock woodcut engraved by winds and waters big slow chisels. On a clear day, you can see landmarks more than a hundred miles away.
The needles is a pin cushion, pointy sides out. Chopped buttes, scored sediment, and carved petroglyphs. Lots of sculpting, scraping, and dividing. It offers more of a backcountry experience, requiring some hiking or four-wheel driving to see the area's attractions. The maze is gorgeous, gorgeously gouged. It's a remote district requiring considerably more time and self-reliance to visit. Northwest of the maze, Horseshoe Canyon is a day-use area with stunning American Indian rock art panels. Flat water trips on the Green or Colorado rivers and white water trips in Cataract Canyon are unique ways to experience the park 
that usually involved two or more days of boating. Author Edward Abbey, a frequent visitor, described the Canyonlands as, quote, the most weird, wonderful, magical place on earth. There is nothing else like it anywhere, unquote. The geology of the park is well suited to a number of different recreational uses. Hikers, mountain bikers, backpackers, and four-wheelers all enjoy traveling the rugged, remote trails within the park.